I'm here at the Tully Glass House Hotel in Ballymena, where around 150 businessmen and women are attending the first ever Small Business Can, sponsored by the Ulster Bank. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. I'm one of the, uh, the founders of the website smallbusinesscan.com. Um, basically, that's a resource for SMEs on the island of Ireland, where they can go in, meet each other, discuss ideas, discuss challenges, get help, uh, share war stories, and generally it's based on the whole idea that it's much better that we're going to get out of the economic mess that we're in together rather than by ourselves. The, co the concept started about two years ago, believe it or not, in the good times when we were looking at trying to provide some resources for SMEs and it's just ballooned um, with the recession where people, you know, they, in times of crisis they gather together. Uh, we now have 10,000 uh, businesses every single month coming onto the site um, from various stages of growth, from startup to rapidly growing companies to companies that have floated on the stock exchange. And what they're doing is they're helping each other out. So if you need any advice, if you have a particular business challenge, you go onto our website, you post it, and I guarantee there'll be somebody out there can help you or they'll know somebody that can help you. And that's what it's all about. And what is the website address? It's smallbusinesscan.com www.smallbusinesscan.com And how long has it been going as, as, a, as a concept then? How long? Well, we started the research about two years ago, um, not knowing that it was going to turn into the, uh, the movement that it is today. Um, it's about 16 or 18 months ago that we decided we could leverage new media, internet, Facebook, Twitter, and, and kind of find a place in the, in the ether world where people could meet uh, easily without taking up too much time. Um, so we officially launched this time last year and it's been up and going now 12 months. And, and how many of, uh, we're in the Tully Glass House Hotel in Ballymena, I should say at the minute. Um, how many have you actually staged? How many of these types of event, events have you staged in Northern Ireland? Well, this will be the first for Northern Ireland and we've done about uh, three or four now down south. And um, believe it or not, people are queuing up. There's an appetite, like you, you can see, there must, be, there must be 150, 200 people here tonight. And that's what we're finding around the country. It's again, it's people coming together, networking, helping each other out. Simon, how did the, the Ulster Bank get involved in this event? Gary, this is a project we've enrolled in now since inception, which was just over 12 months ago. Uh, something the Ulster Bank this saw a need in the marketplace. Um, we felt that a lot of times entrepreneurs didn't want to necessarily talk to their bank didn't want to necessarily talk to their accountant. Um, if they did want to talk to these people, they needed to speak, be able to speak to them um, any time of the day or night. So the online route was something that we felt we should go down. Um, small business can, we spoke to a few entrepreneurs, and that's how this came about. And I'm now joined by David Robinson, who's one of the speakers here uh, at the function here this evening. Uh, David, first of all, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, uh, I'm the managing director of Robinson Services, and we predominantly work in the support services uh, industry providing cleaning, security, laundry and hygiene products to a wide range of businesses throughout Northern Ireland, England and Scotland. And how did you get involved in this particular event well, here? Uh, Ulster Bank are obviously one of our, one of our financiers and uh, we're very happy to support them and helping them create some more opportunities for entrepreneurs in the current climate so that's why we agreed to take part. So, and and what, what advice or what, what will you be um, telling the people here today? Well, I suppose it's a very difficult time to be uh, in business. There's a lot of uh, difficult situations with the economy. But I think one of the things I've learnt is to be uh, positive uh, despite all the negativity. And it's, an, it's a time, great time to expand your business. It's a great time to be aggressive, a great time to sell your other services, your other products. And uh, one of the, thing, the most important things I think about the current environment is, is, is having the right attitude.